Okay, it's going. Ready to go? All right, we're uh, here with Marco Rubio uh, on this thing called the internet. You've heard of it. Yeah, I have. You have heard of it. Okay, Miami. It's my, an algorithm. <laughs> it is. Breaking news. Uh, Miami Dolphins. All right, come on. We're, this is like for the NFL here. Uh, you're on the NFL today. What, what's the prediction? They're in the toughest spot. They're an 8-18 eight and 18 trying to break out of mediocrity, and they need that through talent. Obviously, it'll come down to what their ability to develop Ryan Tannehill into the top 10 quarterback. But surrounding him with talent, I think they've had a good offseason. And Dominican Sue is a, really a monster. In That's a huge pickup. Yeah, we'll see what happens with the draft. They've given themselves some flexibility. They can go after an interior lineman, a wide receiver, a cornerback. Um, we'll see what happens. Nine and seven, ten and six. No, we got to do better than that. We hope that we're not going to win the division anything less than eleven wins, as long as Tom Brady's in that division. This is a, someone told me you're a big time Dolphin uh, encyclopedia guy. I mean, in other words, you know all this trivia. A lot. Well, certainly from the '80s and, and early '90s, as I got older and had a job and stuff like that, I had less time to dedicate to it, but I feel pretty good about my knowledge of Dolphin football. All right, and you'll still talk to me because I'm a Jets fan? Is this going to be an yeah, from time to time, yeah. Well, we still, we've done okay against the Jets, so we'll see. Yes, uh, you have. <laughs> no, we'll see. We lost the last game of the year to them, though. That was bad. Thank you, sir. Marco Rubio, the Mel Kuyper of politics. <laughs>